day it is where you are. For me, it is Monday. And I am headed to my first uh, lymphedema appointment. I'm not really sure what to expect with that, other than I think I'm going to be fitted for my sleeve. I think I told you guys before that since they had to remove a lymph node um, in the cancer side, which for me is my right side, my dominant side, I have to wear a bracelet, like a medical bracelet, stating that I can't have um, like IVs drawn, blood pressures taken, uh, immunization, like any kind of shot or you know anything like that uh, can't be done on that side. But then also when I travel, um, I need to wear a sleeve on that arm to eliminate any kind of like swelling or you know anything like that like when you travel sometimes like if your legs hang you know you've got like a long flight or whatever a lot of people will wear compression um, socks or sleeves to try to eliminate a little bit of that um, just swelling that takes place when you travel and you sit for long periods of time and so um, that is why I have to wear a sleeve so I'm kind of determining what color I might want that to be. You guys know that I am a extremely neutral colored person when it comes to, um, well, really anything, but especially my wardrobe. Uh, I have a very uh, neutral colored capsule wardrobe, but yet a part of me is almost like Maybe I want my sleeve to be pink. You know, so much of this, and you know, you can take it for what it's worth. I know there's probably going to be a lot of opinions about what I'm about ready to say, but I haven't wanted to wear any of the ribbons. I haven't wanted to wear any of the pink stuff and, you know, all that, like, draw attention to it because. This sounds so, I don't know, this may sound strange to a lot of you, but it's like, I don't, oh, sorry, but this is on my side, and uh, that's the hard part still about driving, is like, there's still just things that you have to reach, like that, and your garage door opener, <laughs> because mine is linked to my car, so I have to like reach up. Anyway, it's fine, squirrel. So I haven't wanted to like wear any of that and like draw attention to the devil. When, when I see cancer, I see the devil. I see the strength behind the people that have gone through it. And so there is absolutely no uh, disregard of that whatsoever. But yet a part of me is also like, there is no way in this world that I am gonna give him any glory by like parading this around and, and you know, like drawing attention to it and whatever. And again, it has nothing to do with the people that are fighting it. I get it, this is a battle, I am in it. You don't have to explain that to me. But I also don't want an ounce of, I don't even know what the word is that I'm looking for. Like I want, I want absolutely no joy given to him to like for any of this. So I've really struggled with that. I've already said like, I will run a 5k for cancer. I I've learned to never say never, and I've learned to, now, um, after praying that the Lord would turn this YouTube channel into something bigger than I could imagine, um, and in a way that I couldn't do it on my own, and like I said, 
in my last video, I, I did not realize that that meant breast cancer, but you know, if you're going to ask the Lord for help, you don't, you don't get to determine what that help looks like. Um, and so with all of that being said, um, you know, maybe one day I would run a half marathon in, in honor of breast cancer. Um, for those of us that, that had to battle it and, um, everybody's struggle is different and, you know, I a hundred percent want to honor the people that went through it. I do not want to honor the person, not even the person, but the thing that created it. And so I have really struggled with, with that and the whole, um, whole thing around all of the memorabilia and merchandise and, and all of that that comes with it and everybody has their own thing and everybody's gonna you know choose to support it and to show it and to show their fight um, of it differently and I 100% respect that but all of that like I said like 500 words like I could have said that in probably 10 but I'm almost debating on getting a pink sleeve because I kind of want to show, um, to me it's more in, in that instance just because for me it's something that is like totally out of the normal for me to wear pink. Like I couldn't even begin to tell you the last time that I wore pink. Like, I, I don't even know. So for me to wear that would be doing nothing other than showing that this is the evil that caused me, that caused me to have to wear pink. <laughs> but yet it would, for me, it would be a statement. For a lot of people, it wouldn't because there's so many people that, you know, I joke about my friend that just, you know, gives me a hard time about my neutral wardrobe. For her, she would love nothing more than to wear the pink sleeve or a purple sleeve or, you know, like multicolored, like all of the things. Um, I should probably hold the steering wheel. But um, for me, it would be more of a visual show of the evil that created this. Um, and that may sound silly to some of you. That may sound silly to all of you. I don't know. Um, I, I'm okay either way. But I'm, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of thinking that, that that might be what I choose to do. It might be a pale pink. Um, it might be like a, um, I feel like you guys are wobbling. Uh, and so I'm sorry if you are obviously I'm driving and so when I'm in here it's a little bit harder I know but um, I couldn't do it at the house this morning because I had to hurry and get ready plus our um, the people that clean our house they come on Mondays and so I had to get things ready for them isn't it weird like when people clean your house you feel like you feel like you have to clean before they clean. I don't know. It, it's probably just me because I'm weird like that. But, um, like, I had to pick stuff up. I had to make the bed, which, you know, that is a thing. Everything is a thing. And it's okay that it's a thing. Um, it's just that they come at 9. And my appointment was, is at 10 the hospital which is about 25 minutes away and so um, it just kind of makes for a really rushed morning but anyways so that's kind of um, I don't even know how I got onto that see I like get on here and I just get like diarrhea of the mouth and but all of that to say that I think today is the day that the sleeve fitting uh, gets done I think that's the route that I'm going to go just because it's so out of the normal for me. 
So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, it is a sunny day, which is amazing. I'm super excited. Uh, I'm not having a lot of pain today, which is good. I'm, I am medicated. However, uh, I am not highly medicated. So that is progress. Um, I have lipstick on today, which is fancy. I usually don't do that. Chloe and I went to Walmart yesterday and did like some makeup shopping um, in the Elf department. Uh, we really like that brand. It's clean. Um, it doesn't break either of us out. We both have sensitive skin. And so there were like some dupes that she had come across that she wanted to try. I saw some things that I wanted to try. So we went and had a little bit of fun just kind of shopping through there. I didn't film any of it because there's just parts of this. It's interesting because it's like I hear so many people say everything is content. That's true, but if you're so focused on everything being content, um, it's really hard to also be present in that as well. And there are just things in my life, like my family, where yes, I'm willing to show some of it, but for the majority of it, um, I just want to be 100% present in those moments with them. You know, Christian, as a lot of you know, is a junior this year, and Chloe's a freshman, and next year, like that's it for him until he goes to college and so um, it's I don't like it <laughs> and um, so I just want to be there in those in those moments and relish in that and have those fun conversations and not worry about okay let's show this let's do this let's you know whatever but um, I did try a lot of those products this morning so I will show you guys um, what I got. I get to have lunch with my friend Mindy today, which I'm super excited about. We haven't been able to um, really connect as far as like this type of connecting since before my surgery. And so um, I am really happy to, to be able to do that. She has been my prayer warrior uh, from day one. told you, my word, here we go again, um, all right, pull it together, I have told you that she has reached out to me pretty much every single day, um, her and this uh, other girl, Ashley, from my church, like, just to touch base, Ashley, I, I think I told you, uh, her and I are not, like, a like a conversation type of reach out. It's like she will send me prayer hands every time she's praying for me. So every time I see a text from her with praying hands, I know that um, that she just raised me up. And um, it's just amazing to me. Ashley and I don't even know each other like super well. Uh, she just joined our small group this year, and um, she goes to my church, but, like, we haven't been friends for years, you know? We, honestly, we don't know a ton about each other, but um, she is willing to, to raise me up every single day, and um, for that, I am eternally grateful. So I have her, I have, like I said, my friend Mindy, who does reach out to me. You know, she and I are in very similar circles in life, like, like we're in a tribe, if you call it, if you want to call it that. Um, our boys are friends, our girls are in the same class, like, um, and so she reaches out pretty much every day just to say, hey, 
just checking in, just want to see how you're doing. Um, because not only is this a physical battle, um, it is a mental battle. And I've, I've talked to you guys about that. And no matter how strong of a person you are, um, you are still going to go through the mental battle part of it. Like, there's just, there's no way you couldn't, honestly. I mean, I, for the longest time, I was like, I am going to be strong. I am going to just, you know, kick this in the, and, and it's true, I still have that mentality, but obviously you guys have seen that now I'm a weeper, and um, it just does something to you. You lose a part of you, and it's okay. It's, it's supposed to happen, um, but in a sense, it's, it's a type of death, um, I guess I could say, for me anyway. That's kind of been... My personal journey with it and so um, it's been interesting for sure so all of that to say I'm super excited I get to have fun conversations with her today we get to touch base and connect and all of that like I said it's sunny uh, I have a meeting tonight for Christian's uh, senior class trip next year in person which um, prayers that that goes well and um, I think when I get home I'm going to start the process of uh, touring the house I told you guys in the last video that this week will be like room tours like I'll just do individual room tours um, in separate videos that way it's not all in one big house video um, I know a lot of you have been asking like what does Chloe's room look like and honestly it's changed three times since we originally did it when we moved in the house just the aesthetic of it not anything else but um, all of that to say that um, I well, that lady wasn't happy with her um, all of that to say that I am going to do each individual room. That way it's just a little bit easier for you guys to follow. And um, then I've got some backed up uh, power hours and cleaning videos to do. So lots to come. Um, I'll still do like these types of little inputs in here and there because there's still things going on in my life that are cancer related, obviously. I mean, that's that's the journey that we're in right now. But um, I also don't want to make this whole uh, channel about cancer either. So um, we're going to have some fun as well. So I am here um, at the hospital and I'm just realizing that I took up the wrong turn in here and I need to go around the back side. But um, I'm going to go in here and do my lymphedema appointment and they are doing all kinds of construction here because we're building a brand new cancer center which is going to be amazing. But the parking over here is just a little wonky. So, all right, I'm gonna head in and I will see you guys in a little bit.